Trash Talk Nation, this is a very special episode of Trash Talk you're about to see. We were in Canada, Gary decided he wanted to go out thrift shopping, and in a matter of moments, we were in a car on our way. I think that's one of the great things about Trash Talk, is if you live in a town where maybe you don't wanna wait for the weekend to go to a garage sale, these videos really are intended to teach you how to go and make money any day of the week. This is my second time shooting Trash Talk, stepping in for the illustrious D-Rock, hope you enjoy. Enjoy it. Trash talk. Let's go. Wow. Come on. Move it How many new villages are there here in Toronto? Many. Good. We're gonna go in a mall. <laughs> <laughs> I think I really think thrifting on a Saturday, if you really get knowledgeable about a lot of categories, is a two, three hundred dollar Saturday. I mean, me and AJ, eight poor AJ, because I, I say me and AJ, AJ did the fucking posting and shipping. Fucking digital camera, take out the disc, put in the computer, slow internet, now, do, 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 on your fucking phone while you're eating a fucking Tim Hortons burger, you know, like, fuck. Does Tim Hortons sell burgers? I don't know. Value you the village Vaynerchuk. You're big on mugs, man. I'm huge on mugs because it's an easy thing to learn. Books. Right, again, this is where you decide do you want to list it for 15 and sit on it for a while. You know, but this I'd probably buy because Christmas is coming up and I'd probably put it in that. Yeah, let's take that. What a but this one Smurf right here. But this one Smurf, I know what it is. It's a 1982 Peyo Smurf figurine. Some of them are quite rare. Yeah, this bag of $4.99 between that. Is it a Pokemon? Like this is a winning bag. A little older. Yeah, we're gonna take this. We'll break it down later. I'm excited to do the homework on the bag that I just grabbed. And that's what you have to do when you first start because you don't know anything. You've gotta take a couple of risks just to learn. What made you draw that one out? This? Yeah. Eye appeal, right? Just like, you just know that people like skeletons. You know, that shit adds up. $17. Five bucks. What just happened here? What happened here is $25 for this register. This is 20 bucks. The amount of hipsters in Brooklyn, you know this, Nima. It's got, it's cool. got East Village vibe. This is like exactly what people pay $40 for in a, actually, Fits nicely. <laughs> you know, this Mario hat is fucking flex as fuck. Toronto thrift store is like, what? Is that? This Mario no, no, no. hat is gonna kill. <laughs> Toronto thrift store life. You gotta love it. Not bad for 30 minutes. All right, now, one of my favorite things to do is these little fun packs they get before I you get really start to break them down. This was one of the risks. But again, for a lot of people watching, it's not for lost because this is where you learn. It is dinosaur eraser. And again, this goes to marketing. You take this picture underneath and you go here and you go, you know, vintage, retro, old, rare, you know, dinosaur. Some people know which dinosaur this is. Uh, 80s, 90s eraser. You put this for 15 bucks on Etsy. I'm telling you, it sells. Oh, this is what I was hoping for. Pokemon, motherfucker. Right now, I just gotta, do you guys know which Pokemon this is? But I can tweet this and be like. Here we go. This one was $10. 10, 10, and based on what I saw, you probably get 10 for that one as well. But, you know, no big deal. This is 25 bucks, plus shipping, plus $5 to be shipping. I'm gonna look up Garfield, I'm gonna look up Cabbage Patch Kid, I'm gonna look up the Smurf, but I'm just gonna play and say this is another 10. 45, 50, here's the thing. Again, this keeps going down to what I'm trying to say. A lot of people on earth today are making minimum wage. 12, 13 dollars an hour. We're an hour all in now. Like, all that work. We stayed in the store here a little while, the driving, but we're like at 50 here, all that. But here's the thing, the education starts to build. You know, five minutes ago, you didn't know that this was worth $35. Guess what happens four months from now when you go to a garage sale and there's a 50 of these in a bag for 10 bucks. Didn't go 
go straight for the toys? Oh yeah. Mugs, always the mugs. I like mugs. See, you get into a place like, like this Heineken hat. That's a big one. You like this? I do like that. Eight forty nine. Fuck to Why are these hats so goddamn expensive? I'm pissed right now. This is again. This is where a garage sale is like twenty five, fifty cents a hat. And, and Toronto's trying to get ridiculous on us here. You don't really move into sneaker stuff, right? <laughs> I would love to, but like, I don't know it. Can I go shake his hand? Gary V. Yo. How you doing, man? Good, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Nice can I get a you. picture with you? You can. That's nice it. You. Pleasure to meet you, man. Have a nice day. You're a good guy, man. Thank you, brother. That's Gary V. Gary <laughs> Banner. The thing that I really want that I'm not into yet is t shirts. Why? Because it's, it's paper. Like, shirts kill me, man. It's all pop culture. It's why the whole, it's why Be Friends comes so much. 6.49 for 20. Holy shit, this could be good. 14 bucks sold. What's it for? 5.49. To me, I like at least 10, $20 profit because with the fees and everything, but it's right on that border. But again, that one sold for 13 dollars You can list this for 22 bucks. A hardcore Brian Adams fan buys it. We're taking it. You can see like right away, like we're not doing as well here. This tells me like this is like a understood location. Like this location feels as though there may be more flippers that come through. Why? It just feels like I don't see as many things available. You know what I mean? Yep. Board game's a big thing? It can be. Got a winner here, Nima. Condition matters for board games. Yeah, matters for everything. You're looking for vintage games? Yeah, 1976 Cool Years. Super Years, $21. So you see it range from eight to 21. If you're willing to have it sit in your house, you'll get your price. When people see eight and 20, cool. Like if you want to sell it quick, you go for eight. If I bought that for one dollar, maybe I go fifteen, get it out. But if I buy for five, fuck it, put it for twenty. Plus Christmas is coming. All of a sudden, maybe that's twenty-five. Oh, thank you. Eleven twenty-eight on two board games, vintage. Fifty-five, sixty-five bucks all day. Twenty-four, seven, three, sixty-five, motherfucker. Yeah, it to the bank I can tell you already it's not gonna be a good garage sale. Let me tell you why. Because of the sign. It means these people do garage sales all the time. I promise when we go right now it's gonna feel more like a flea market than a garage sale. But we'll see. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Some more love down garage sale. What are you looking for? How much are the pins? This one? Yeah. One dollar each. You do twenty dollars for the pins? I don't think so. No? Why not? Because it's uh, they, too many. I tell you what. What? Thirty dollars are all yours. But there's over thirty here. That's what I'm saying. Thirty dollars are all yours. There's too many. There's not. I mean, not enough here. I tell you what. Twenty-five bucks. I can't go no lower. Take you got twenty-five bucks on you? Somebody has twenty-five bucks. Five dollars here. Five, ten, fifteen, <laughs> twenty, twenty-five. There you go. You don't have it. There's gotta be a bank close. Sure. Took us a few minutes to get the cash, but boy, oh boy, you have no idea what just happened. People don't understand that pins are insane. It would be $25 for all these pins. I cannot wait to show Nima the first one. First pin, $4. This is the fun part for you. This is the best part for me. It's gonna end up being 10 bucks. US versus Germany World Cup pin, 25. Get your money back. If you bulk all 63 of those and they're averaging for five to seven, let's just say 63 at seven, it's 424. Like this, this is easily $250 in a bulk set that somebody takes if they're into pins. $25, 250. That's good. I love the internet. When you're not getting enough engagement so you have to get creative, then I reply or 
when you want to teach people how to fish. You know, the best part of being on the receiving end of cynicism is when it's not true. If I was doing that post to get 80 likes or 8,000 likes, well then there's nothing to tell, there's no reply to talk about. I can't be mad at somebody who's trying to razz. I gotta love them back. The reason the world's struggling right now is fear and hate on fear and hate just leads to fear and hate and fear and hate. Like where's love in the equation?